uh, let's look at the crude oil first. And um, if you notice crude, let's let's take a look at what how the trend filter helps us out. Are the um, the trend box? The trend box. If we look uh, at the trend box on crude this morning, we've been in a downtrend pretty much all morning since midnight. In fact, we've been in a downtrend since. Let me show you since uh, last night. Um, right even before midnight. So if you notice, when the trend box is red, that is negative or there's selling pressure. If the trend box is green, that's buying pressure. But there's more, there's a better way to even look at the trend box. I like to look at the speed in the market. So if I look at the, uh, if I look at yesterday, last night going into this whole move down, you can see we sold off from sixty-five dollars uh, and forty a barrel to around sixty, almost sixty-one and a half, and this has been sell retracements all the way down. There's a, a unique way how you can use this trend box uh, for getting into uh, um, setups, and this works on all futures, forex, um, also stocks, ETFs. Really, it works on any market that's uh, tradable uh, because it catches the trend move and when there's speed in the market so the most important thing if you look over the last day is that you notice that we've been in a downtrend so you want to only sell retracements so if the box is red we want to look for sell setups <clears throat> now what you can do is you can also use the moving averages as an extra trend filter if you have a longer term intermediate and a smaller MA if the smaller is below the intermediate, intermediate below the larger, you're in a hard trend down. And that's what's been happening for the past day. If you look, we've been in a hard downtrend, only sell retracements. So then the other way you can do it is you can look at uh, my, my trend full retracement filter and you could try to look for sell setups on these larger time frames when the market is at a retracement level. So when you get above 90% in a downtrend, these are the most optimal points to look for a short in crude oil or any market that you're trading. So these are all levels going into the last day that we would need to what? We need to look at sell signals. And then we'll break it down even further for you in a second. But when you get above 90%, that tells you you're in an optimal time to look for continued selling pressure. The last big one was 8 o'clock here this morning. 8 o'clock at uh, right around just below 62, and we ran down 60 ticks um, right here this morning. So if you notice, what was that? That was actually 61.90, and we got down to 61.40. $500 move right here. Once we got above this level, we've had another sell-off. But the point is, is that is the trend box is used to get you on the right side of the market. Now. There's a unique way how I like to use a trend box, and I'm going to show you, and this works in all markets. I like to look when the boxes get thin or the width is thin because that's indicating speed. So if you look at this move up we have now in crude oil, this move, this move up against the overall market push down, you notice it all started on my smaller time frame over here when the boxes are real thin. If you get a thin box of less than four candles inside the box, you have speed in the market. So this is speed in the market right now. It's indicating that we have speed to the upside, meaning what you can do is let's look at the downside first. If you're going with trend, this is an easy way to pick the market apart, in my opinion, is that when you see the width of the box is less than four bars, I like one or two is very fast speed, like gasoline on the three sim. If I see a one bar on gasoline, it indicates to me that market's going to move. Uh, the probability is very high; it's going to move hard in that direction. So here's a one bar right here, one one candle this morning here at eight o'clock. So at eight ten this morning, we had a big consolidation bar, big white boxes. That's telling a consolidation. Once you see a thin bar, a thin width, when the candles are less than four bars. The, the less, the more speed you're going to have in the market. This indicates at 8 o'clock this morning, 8.10, you got a possible big trade on your hands because there should be speed in the market. So a breaking back in this market would be right here. You see another thin width box. There's three candles inside, two candles inside, two candles. There's your retracement sell. There's your nice retracement, retracement sell. 
negative uh, market delta with a retracement. Now, I've been getting a lot of emails from traders inside and outside the room that have been trading it this way. Here's what they do. What they'll do is, is they'll look for a thin bar after consolidation bar. And if it breaks symmetry dots, if it breaks symmetry dots with a thin bar, what they'll do is they'll go short here and their stop loss is at the top of that bar. Their stop loss is right here. I can't tell you how many traders have been doing this. There's been a lot that's having a lot of success with this. And I'll show you on other smaller time frame, I mean other markets, how this works. My point is when you break through symmetry with trend, symmetry dots are blue support, red resistance. The trend's been down all, uh, all day for a whole day. So when you break through symmetry right here, the symmetry dots, it's a, it is a, uh, uh, the width is less than four bars. I like two or one, showing great speed. It indicates major speed. Here's another one. You can actually short the markets before the retracement if you use this technique. You have a lot of success with traders doing this. Here's another thin bar showing a major break in symmetry, stop loss above, and then you can do it that way also. If you look on the break upside, on the break move up, you had a big consolidation with bar. You've had a breakout of symmetry here. What they would do is they could actually, you could trade that break with a stop loss right there. And here's your breakout of, I'm sorry, symmetry at that level. So you can actually trade the momentum using speed bars to pop you in the trade, or you can wait for the retracement. Now, longer time frames, it's relatively simple because you can just wait for the retracement the retracement in a downtrend. So if you retrace above 90%, you're looking for a rollover. Now, here's another technique that I've seen a lot of traders that have used the trend box since we released it. They will wait until we get above 90% and we're in a downtrend, and then they'll come over and they'll wait for a trend box to get thin, meaning less than four bars to show speed, and then right after that first box, let's say that right here that you're in a retracement. Okay, let's say right here you're in a retracement, you're above 90%. You're above 90% on these big wide boxes right here on my larger time frame, my trend filter. As soon as this thin box comes in, the first thin box of print showing speed, traders that are using the system will go short. They've been having a lot of success with this setup. Their stop loss will be above that swing high. Meaning what they're, what they're doing is they're using a larger time frame they're using a larger time frame such as this. For example, let's look at 751 here this morning. At 751 this morning, we got a full retracement on my larger time frame right here. Full retracement. We're above 90%. So what they'll do is they'll look at, at 750, almost 8 o'clock this morning. That's these big, thick bars right here. Real thick, long, wide width bars right here. What they'll do is they'll wait until they get a thin width below four bars. Within four bars, this happened to be one. If it's one, they will go short. One, two, three, four bars. They'll go short, put the stop loss right at the high of that swing bar. A lot of success with this setup doing this. Let me show you this in a little bit in detail in another market so you know what I'm talking about. Works really, really good in gasoline several setups this morning in gasoline so far so what they do is gasoline is very volatile but it's the same concept what you want to do in all these markets if you get a wide bar I mean a wide width on a bar the width is wide more than four bars if you get if I see a one bar print one candle print sorry inside the trend box I know I possibly got big speed there's four bars, one bar, three bar, four bars, two, three, two, four, one. Now consolidation, consolidation one, there's your big move up again. All right, now we're big in consolidation, so you stand aside. There's no trades here. My point is, is you can on these markets, and it, you can look for big wide boxes going to thin boxes. We had a big short this morning. Here, the short this morning is if, here's your breaking point in the market there's your symmetry dots two bar two candles broke symmetry look at the speed coming in the market less than four bars now if you go larger time frames it works the same way it's a smaller time frame but it's 
let's go larger time frames, you're looking for consolidation into speed. So if I go to a large time frame like the 9 Simrenko and let's say gasoline, it works the same way. This is a consolidation bar. So if I see consolidation on a 9 Simrenko and gasoline, if I see less than four bars, now gasoline, I like one or two bar, uh, two candles. One or two candles suffice showing me speed. So my my trading methodology in gasoline is two two candles or less. So if I see two candles or less on gasoline on a 9 Simrenko, that told me right there it broke symmetry. That is a major sell. This morning it happened after 8 o'clock. All right, so if you see that, after consolidation, here's consolidation bar and a downtrend. There's your consolidation box. If I see less than two bars or two candles inside the consolidate after consolidation box, right here, it tells me there's a major possible push right there. One tells you there's really going to be a hard push in that market, especially gasoline. If you see a one candle inside of any market that prints, I don't care what market it is, and you're breaking symmetry, it's typically the point to get into the market. Because that should be speed in the market showing you, because these, these, these trend boxes have a trend filter built into it. And for it to print just one candle inside of a box is very, very rare. So once you see that, it tells you a possible big push in the market. So it's on the upside too. If I see any, uh, the key is symmetry though. If I come, if I come in between like this, if I see big consolidation this morning between white boxes, you know, there's multiple candles here, over 12, 15 candles. 12, 15 candles, and I break symmetry, and I go into a, a two or less on gasoline, I know right there is major speed, possible major speed. You can short it, stop loss, even before the retracement is right there. Now, if you want to take a retracement sell, the first full retracement is right here. So I'm showing you there's two ways you can do this. You don't have to wait for the full retracement if you come down for a full retracement if you're watching the speed of these candles on any time frame. As long as you're below four bars, I like seeing less than um, I like seeing less than four candles inside of the overall bar. Okay? But what you can do is you can actually use smaller time frames. For example, like I said, if you get into I showed you this one at eight o'clock, let's go back to even further here, one at sixty three twenty. So well, let me just show you so you understand how to do this. It's, it's a pretty neat concept. So here's another. We showed you this major inflection point here. Let me show you this major inflection point here. It happened at what, 540 this morning. So this high, it's uh, 63. So you're at a full retracement on the 9 Simrenko. You're at a full retracement. Here's your full retracement. Here's a full retracement. We're above 90%. So what you can do is you can check down to your small time frame. Okay, so uh, let me see the 3 Simrenko. Show me a, uh, a, a thin... Thin bo a thin box to pop me in the trade. So if you look at this morning, here it was this morning. Here's your consolidation box that we talked about. Look at that big consolidation box. Once you see this, that should be the green light to tell you less than two bars. There's your short. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. You can literally catch some of these moves in the infancy of the move without even looking at the first retracement. So once you start doing what this technique, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Right here is a full retracement like I teach you. So what I'm going to show you, and this is, this is um, something that a lot of traders are using in a lot of different markets, not only retracement, but the momentum. So you have to do it, though. If you use a technique like this on getting the first one, you want a full retracement on a larger time frame, whether it be a five, Rinko, 5 sim or a 9 sim Rinko. So this coincided, let me show you, I'll make this a little more easier for you to see. It's a really good technique to use because you can catch some of these trades in the infancy of the move before they even start moving really hard. So let's take a look at these two right here. That I'm let's take a look at the one at 3 o'clock also. So let's go back and we'll take a look and we'll move forward here so you understand what I'm talking about and the one that just happened. So here's the one at 3 o'clock. So we got a full retracement here at 3 o'clock, right? Here's your larger time frame, right? We got a full retracement. Let's, let's break this down to layman's terms so you know what I'm talking about. There's your full retracement. So instead of trading off a 9 sim by itself, you got a, larger, a large stop. If you trade off a 9 sim Renko, your average stop is around 22 ticks. If you go 2 ticks, let's say if you wait, 
and you wait for that green bar to go negative mark of delta or close red, two ticks above the swing high, your average stop is going to be 22 ticks. It's a large stop, right? So we don't want large stops. So how can I get into this move I'm at, if I'm at a full retracement on a larger time frame? I know I'm in a downtrend. I've got red trend boxes all the way down. I know I'm in a downtrend. I got to sell the market. I got to short. I got to short. I'm not even thinking about buying. What you can do is you can break it down into a smaller time frame right here. Right here, you see this set up all the time. You'll see a consolidation like this. It'll look just like this on a 3 sim Rico, my small time frame. Look at this big consolidation box. That tells me that this is now at this swing high, right, this swing high is at third, um, right here at, um, that got as high as, where did it get as high as, right there, one second, consolidation all the way back to here, ah, can't get my mouse on it, so let's start consolidating from here to here on the 9 Simrico. so once you see a break, and watch how this works, once you see a, a small thin box, the width of the box, less than four candles, I like two or three, that was your sell signal right here, right at that close of that box. Your stop loss is two ticks above that swing high. You can do it right there on the box, or you can go two ticks. You want to be really concerned two ticks above the actual bar candle bar. All right, so you can you can actually look and get into some of these setups off the larger time frames based upon what we're looking at here on the larger time frame push back up. Let's go to the second one. We had a full retracement on the 9 Simrenko, full retracement. Look what happens here. We got a big consolidation box. This is when the 9 Sim is at a full retracement. Here's your big consolidation. A big wide box means consolidation. What you want to see after you get above 90%, since you're at a full retracement, you want to see a what? You want to see a speed box come in, less than four bars. This happened to be two. There's two. Right there is your entry, stop loss. You can get in before the first retracement, and you have a first retracement sell there also. So you can use this larger time frame, guys. Here's another one, 750 this morning. This one just happened, but same thing. If you noticed, we had the big consolidation box there. Big boxes. Look at that thin box. That was one bar. One bar. If you see one bar, I'm telling you, just look at it. Don't take my word for it. Look back at the thousands and thousands and thousands of da uh, days back, and you can see if you get one bar after consolidation, one candle, sorry, that usually starts a big trend, big move. Two bars, one, two bars, three bars, four bars max, but that usually starts it. So that was consolidation after the nine cent got above 90% in a downtrend. So what we can do is once that bar prints, you can open it up, stop loss above the close of that bar. I like the close of the high of that. Um, trend box. Obviously, we know if you don't take that one, obviously we know this is a sell right here. You come up above 90%, there's your overall sell signal. So what I'm trying to show you is you get two shots at the market. You get one shot. Here's your consolidation on the 9 Simrenko. Here it was this morning. Here's your big consolidation. 9 Sim was on a retrace and we got above 90% right there. You're above 90%. If you see a small, uh, the width of small where candles are below four bars, I like one or two or three, then that is your, that's your signal for a possible big move down. Okay? Something you can start looking for for another setup that a lot of traders are doing in the market, in the room. They're looking for a full retracement on the larger time frames. They're checking down the smaller time frame and say, hey, I'm at a full retracement. In other words, I'm at a full retracement right here at all these sell signals and these buy signals right here. It happened yesterday too. Buy signal here. Buy signal here. So all these sell signals on the way down. 
at these levels. Here, 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 here. All the here, another cell signal. All these cell signals here. So we're at a cell signal right now on the, on the larger time frame. So if we're at a cell signal larger time frame, do we have speed coming in yet? No, it hasn't closed yet. But if we have speed that comes in on this closing print bar right now as we speak, and these symmetry dots break at 61, 63, you're probably going to see another big move down. That's how you can use larger time frames with the speed boxes. Consolidation, wide boxes into small indicates possible setups. Okay? It's a really neat way to do it. As long as you got a full retracement. 